Good morning, family. Here we are on another trip, and I'm feeling very unmotivated today. I'm going to the Bighorns for a three-day cow elk trip. Tried to take Mr. Levi with me, my boy. And he came home from a buddy's house last night, not feeling well, and said he didn't want to miss school on Monday because he only had two days next week because it's uh, Thanksgiving week. So good for him. He put put school first, I guess. Can't knock a kid for that. He wants to keep his straight A's, so I appreciate that. But pretty bummed going by myself. Uh, that's always kind of a 50-50 eh, deal for me. I used to do a lot of trips by myself and didn't didn't bother me but as I've gotten older it's that's for me that's the the fun of the whole trip is sharing it with somebody else um, so I'm excited to go but a little sad that my boy's not with me or friends family somebody I got the llamas though llamas the llamas are loaded up in the trailer and they're ready to go um, it's a drizzly morning it's raining a wee bit nothing big. Hopefully there's not too much on the mountain pass going over to Buffalo because it's, I've got a two-wheel drive car and pulling this horse trailer is, I hope there's not hardly any snow on the roads. There probably won't be unless that's up high over the pass. So at any rate, wish me luck. I'll try to keep in touch and I'll video a little bit more if I see something interesting guys might want to see I'll show it to you and we'll try to check in either when we get to the trailhead or like I said if I see something interesting I'll pick up the phone and do a little video all right y'all have a good morning it's Saturday morning the weekend before Thanksgiving go get your turkeys don't forget to take your turkeys out and let them thaw all right, love you guys. All right, everybody, I am back. Nothing super exciting, but thought I'd share this madness. <laughs> um, nothing like pulling a trailer in the snow with a two-wheel drive vehicle. Little sketchy, let me tell you. A um, little bit of fishtailing going on coming up and you know, controlling your speed going down the other side is a little challenging. Uh, but we're just taking it kind of slow here. I was almost ready to turn around and go back home and just call her quits. But I'm hoping that as I get down this back side that it eases up. And it looks like it might be. There's not as much snow on the trees and stuff, so figured this pass might be a little a little challenging but we're getting there I'm hoping it'll get a little better here we'll see as I get down the hill I'll check in with everybody again let you know how I'm doing all right bye all right all I'm back again real soon can I get a four-wheel drive to tow my trailer. <laughs> the snow's really coming down. It got lots better there for, I don't know, a couple miles, and now it's coming down like crazy. Uh, this is insane. And it's, I don't know. I mean, there's not a lot on the ground, but it's coming down, and the roads are slick, and I'm really second guessing driving all the way over here. I wasn't motivated in the beginning when I left the house. Bummed out. My boy's not with me. Bummed out. I'm by myself. And now I'm dealing with snow. Which I looked at the radar this morning and it didn't look like there was much there. But, you know, that's the mountains, you know. Anything can happen at any time and just got to be ready and prepared for it I guess so it is what it is it's beautiful but I 
sure wish I had a four-wheel drive truck. It would make my life a little less stressful right now. All right. We'll pray that it clears up a little bit. How's that? All right, I'll talk soon. Oh, hello again, family. We are here. We're on the trail. Um, I forgot to take a video of us loading up, but me and the boys are on the trail. We're about, I don't know, half a mile in. Yeah, here they are. And we are going up through there somewhere. Just a couple miles in. Nothing big. Beautiful day. It's sunny in spots and cloudy in spots here. It's not snowing like crazy like it was up on the pass, but uh, I've had a couple little flakes drop on me while I'm standing here, so we'll see how it goes. Hopefully we can get up there pretty quick and get our tent set up and relax and enjoy the scenery. All right, I'll take another video when I get closer. See ya. All right, guys. First critters of the trip. Pretty cool. Another one took off up through there. I'm guessing it was probably a little buck. I got a glimpse of him, but he wasn't much. Pretty cool. Pretty nifty. All right, hello again, family. We are close to the top. Yep, officially close. Um, I am give out. This was one steep mamacita. The llamas are doing great. I'm not doing so great. We gotta go right there. And once we get there, I think it drops down into a big meadow. So I think we're getting there. Let's see if you can see Martin and Pecker. Man, it's just beautiful. See Marty. All right, let's see if we can make it to the top, guys. I'll check in in a bit. All right, family, I made it to camp. I got the llamas staked out. They're chilling. Red's worried about me. He's been standing there just staring at me sitting here because he knows I'm give out and I can't move anymore, I think. Maybe not. Maybe he doesn't really care. All right, well, we're just going to set up camp and probably chill here for the night. We might go for a little walk here in a bit, but I'm pretty stinking tired, so probably set up the tent in my bed and set up the stove and get everything ready to go for the night. All right, we'll talk soon. All right, family, I am here. It took me all day to drive here, to pack in, to set up camp, and I had like a whopping hour, maybe 45 minutes to come to an evening hunt. So um, I'm only a few hundred yards from camp, perched up on this big rock overlooking a kind of a basin. And it's cold, it snowed all day long on me, which, the reason I came this weekend was because I thought it was going to be decent weather. <clears throat> they didn't have snow in the forecast, but these clouds set in and it was all what she wrote. And I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed. I'm, I'm down a little bit. I like, no, no, I'll take that back. I'm okay hunting alone. But as I get older, it's harder to do. This took it out of me today. I'm so done. It's so much work to get these llamas back in here. They're great, but to get them back in here and set up camp by yourself. and Oh man, I'm just shot. So I texted my wife. I was planning to be out here for a couple days. And I think if the weather stays the way it is, I should probably stay. But... I just don't have it in me. 
just don't. I hate getting old, man. I'm not that old, but body sure doesn't do what it used to do. Well, anyways, it is beautiful out here. I'll let you see. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Pretty neat. It's peaceful. There ain't nobody else back here. A little funny note. I I know that there's elk in here because I set up camp, got it all ready. Went down this little ravine by my camp to go to the bathroom and lo and behold there's two cow elk dead just the heads somebody clearly shot them and took everything else out coos to them and the critters and they're cleaned up pretty good so I don't expect any animals by my tent but after I set it up I thought I ain't gonna move it now I'm just gonna leave it and they can come do what they need to do if they're still eating on it <clears throat> At any rate, camp is back somewhere, I think, right back around that somewhere. So I'm going to sit here for another maybe 15 minutes or so, and then I'm going to head back to camp and cook up some food, start the fireplace up, and get in my sleeping bag and go to sleep, because I am tired. Can I tell you again? All right, I'll see you in a bit. All right, good morning, family. It is, I don't know what it is, like 12 degrees. I think it got down to about eight last night. Um, it's a little after six this morning on Sunday. I've got my old trusty buddy going there see it or not yeah that's my buddy that sucker's keeping me warm it's doing really good so I'm just huddled up by the fire here this morning trying to stay warm until daybreak I'll get out there here in about a half an hour I had me some breakfast and we'll see I'll go for a short hunt I'm still feeling pretty lonely out here but I wish I had my son with me and my buddy my dad my brother brother-in-law somebody um, I enjoy doing this it's fun and it really you know gives you a chance to think about a lot of stuff especially when you're alone but yeah we'll see what we what we uh, can find this morning. Maybe we'll get lucky and find something. Never know. Never know until you try to get out there and see what you can find. I think the llamas did well. I didn't get any calls last night. Uh, they'll call if there's a problem. I didn't have any issues, so I think we did pretty good. Um, other than it just got freezing cold and the foot end of my sleeping bag, I was, I'm on a hill and foot into my sleeping bag slid through the bottom of the tent and so my feet were outside the whole night but I had one of those hot hands little warming packs in there with my down coat shoved in the bottom so my feet actually stayed warm surprisingly enough I woke up hanging half outside the tent and my sleeping bag was completely froze where my feet were at it was kind of funny in a weird way but at any rate made it through the night so i'll go for a hunt and we'll see what we get love y'all uh, good late morning everyone i am back sun is up and i've been hunting i don't know for an hour and a half or so not seeing any track, not seeing any sign. I'm seeing deer, but no elk. Not even any sign like they're in here, so I'm not even sure they're in here. You know, they move around so much. 
There's camp down there. You can see the boys. So I'm going to head back to camp. Get something to eat. Think about my next steps in life. We'll talk when we're back at camp, maybe. All right, folks, we are headed home. Our hunt today was uneventful and unsuccessful. Saw no tracks, saw quite a few deer again, but no elk. I suppose there's a chance here in the high desert-like stuff that we could come across one, but I'm not gonna hold my breath. And I'll tell you what, I don't know if you can tell, that stuff is a haul to get up and down. I mean, it is straight up, straight down. I've decided everything in Wyoming is steep. Even when it doesn't look steep. It's steep. So, we got about a mile to the truck. We had two and a half miles to this point, I think, is about what we walked. And a mile to the truck, so we were back in there about three and a half, four miles, somewhere around there. It was beautiful, as always enjoyable to a degree sure miss my boy but hey it is what it is we got outside saw some new country saw some animals no elk but it was good so we will check in when we're back on the road i guess not much farther to go all right all we'll see you all right, family, you get to look at my ugly mug again. I'm in the car heading home. It was a quick overnighter. Uh, right around three and a half miles, I think. Really not too sure. It was brutal coming out. Just as brutal coming out as it was going in. Um, but the llamas did okay. Martin has an issue with crossing creeks. He locks up on me and I gotta find like the easiest crossing for him to go across otherwise it's too much for him kind of was irritating we tried two or three different tries coming out to cross this little tiny creek it wasn't anything big he wouldn't do it until we got to the very end and there was like one little trickle splash of water and then he decided that he'd go for it and I had to coerce him into that. Other than that, they did good. We didn't have any stops. We hiked straight through. Got out quick. I don't know what time it is. It's 12.30. It took us an hour. It took us an hour to get out of there, I guess. Yeah. If that's right. I don't know that we ever changed this clock, but... Maybe a little longer. I left there at 11.40. Uh, that's what my phone said. And the clock here in the Sequoia says 12.40, which I don't think that's right. I bet it took me two hours to get out of there. At any rate, we're heading home. Can't wait to see my family. I'm going to text them and see if we can do pizza tonight. I still got a four-hour drive to get home, but that'll put me home right around 5 o'clock, which would be perfect for dinner. All right, love you guys, wish you were here. As I said in one of my other clips, it would be so much more fun if my son were here, or my dad, my brother, my brother-in-law, somebody, my buddy Jeff, but it is what it is. So we got in, got out, didn't see anything, didn't see any sign other than a bunch of deer tracks. We did see a bunch of deer, a couple nice bucks. Other than that, not much, so. Unless I see something coming home that I think would be interesting. Oh, there's a couple deer right there. Huh. Um, this will probably be my final farewell for 
Area 36 Type 4 tag. A bust. This is the second time I've tried this area. Nothing. So, at any rate, is what it is. Peace out. Love you guys and miss you. Bye. Guys, I don't know if you can see that, but I thought it'd be cool to show you. Look at the wind whipping up on those hills. The snow is blowing. It's pretty cool. I told you I'd show you something cool if I saw it. I think it's cool. See ya. Alright, good morning all. It is the week of Thanksgiving. And when we spoke last, which was just yesterday, I said I wouldn't do any more posts. But, um... I was driving home yesterday and the fall colors were just really, it felt like Thanksgiving. Um, and I really started thinking about what I'm thankful for. Um, I'm thankful that I have a God that sent his one and only son to die for my sin because he knows I'm a screw up and I screw up every single day. And I'm so grateful for that. I'm grateful for a great wife. I'm grateful for my daughter, Jessie, my daughter, Danielle, my son, Levi. I'm grateful for a wonderful brother and sister. I'm grateful for a mom and dad who have loved me to eternity and back. I'm grateful for the state that I live in, Wyoming. I'm grateful for the organization that I work for. I'm grateful for the team that works with me and for me and supports me. I just thought about it. It was a three and a half, four hour drive home and I really thought a lot about thankfulness and when you're out in the wilderness alone for 48 hours, let's say, maybe a little more, you really have a lot of time to be, to focus on being thankful. Um, sure missed my family a lot. Always do every time I go out hunting. But when you're alone, you start missing them a lot more. And so I just really had a lot of time to think about them and how grateful I am to have such a wonderful family. I am a very blessed man. Very proud of my family. Very proud of my faith. Very proud of where I work. Obviously couldn't have gotten this far without my Lord and Savior. And for that I'm grateful. I wish all my family that's not here in Wyoming, which is everybody, a very, very happy Thanksgiving. I love y'all.